here we are, a few hundred yards away from our office. We've been underneath going down Coach Street, through the inner relief road. Everyone says we're the wrong side of the inner relief road. We are the wrong side, we can develop the wrong side. We've proved that with the Tanny Mills. But look at this, the canals, aren't they fantastic? The Ashton, the Rochdale, let's put in some new canals. Let's reinvigorate the old canals. Let's create a new Amsterdam, a new East Amsterdam, a really special place in the city. So here we are, another cold January, this time 2005, we're back beside the canal to see what's been achieved in transforming this derelict hospital and the Cardroom Estate into New Islington. One of the most rewarding and interesting aspects of creating New Islington has been the consultation with the residents. It started here in the Cobber Coal and has continued. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get together I mean, so that you can hear what we've got to say? Some of the green space. Do we want to keep the pub? I can't guarantee that everything that you say you want, you will get. Well, I've been photographing regeneration in Manchester for probably about 15 years now. Most of the work to date has been a kind of a baseline. This is where we're at now. Uh, of not just of the physical place that was card room, but also the people as well. We want to know where are the houses going to be to accommodate us. Come on, Elsa. Where are the houses? So where are the houses? So where are the houses? I think the most the most unexpected thing has been has, has been the cohesion of people and the um, the way that everybody knows everybody else. Oh, yes, we talk about that from, from years ago, and it doesn't often happen anymore, but here it still does. Perhaps what I think was most interesting about it is somewhat naively, I expected all the residents to actually jump at the opportunity of swapping one of their houses with brand new urban splash flats. But many of them actually wanted to stay in a house, and so we worked with them with architects they chose called FATS to create the first 23 homes in New Islington over here. We, uh worked with the tenants to choose the architects uh, through a competition with the uh, RIBA. So they were right in there choosing the architects and then working with them uh, on the design of their homes and of the, of the layouts of the new, the new houses. If you walk through that, that computer, model, all the other architects are like completely bonkers. <laughs> and then these houses are relatively sane. Back in uh, early 2002, we were selected by the tenants to be the provider of the new social housing. Uh, tenants uh, were offered a right to return by the city council and needed to choose themselves a new landlord to work with Urban Splash and with the partnership to develop their new homes to come back to as part of the part of the village. I think it, it must be a bit of a trauma because um, can you imagine if you were living in an area which was suddenly flattened, everybody had to move to different places. Um, and then they were being rebuilt, and, and being re everybody's consulted about what's happening, but at the same time it has to be a joint process, so if one person particularly doesn't like uh, an element of, of, uh, of the new New Islington, then they have to go with the, the joint decision. <laughs> we've not just been talking, we've been working. First of all, creating new canal, linking the Ashton and the Rochdale. Canals, aren't they fantastic? Great places. Places where people can walk by, places where people can fish, places where people can even live on. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us here at the top floor of Wark Mill. There's lots to take in today. A launch of five very different and very challenging schemes. Launch of the developer competition. The proposition with New Islington is, is pretty simple, really. It was perceived as one of the worst council estates, one of the worst estates in Manchester. Um, what we want to do is to take it from that perception of one of the worst and make it one of the best. The first painting was this painting, which showed the Rochdale Canal and the Ashton Canal and said, why don't we link them together with a main street that links uh, Ancoats Urban Village to Pollard Street. One of the key objectives is to create a beautiful place to live and, and somewhere that's memorable. And we have the opportunity here, working with water, to, to have this amazing promenade looking across the water to this green park. 
and just create an amazing sense of environment, actually. And, you know, just imagine the mist on a sort of a, on the morning and the sun coming on your face as you're walking down the street. All this, is, all this grey is water, and there's, here's the, the centre, which um, the space in the middle of it um, is the waiting area, but it's also a, a community space. And it looks straight down here across all this water and the islands and the landscape. And it's, it, this is a fantastic interior. And I only hope what we do is, is as good as that. This is, a, this is an overview of the model of the showing, showing this kind of whole arrangement. Um, these back gardens here, and then the kind of final sort of image here. It's about a sort of combination of all of those factors coming together. We've got the original dispensary building. We're pick, picking up on the scale of that building, and then the new build elements sort of sweep up and rise and turn towards the sun. And closer up timber, letters, and then these, these panels that come out that create shades and that create, uh, the building changes as the light and the sun moves around the building. 145 flats, a mixture of one, two bedrooms, even three bedrooms. Over the last couple of years, we've been working very hard with our partners, English Partnerships, Newest Manchester, Mammoth's Housing Association, turning what was a vision into reality. We started demolishing the crappy buildings that were here on the hospital sites, demolishing some of the houses in the Cardroom Estate, and we're ready now on this fantastic site, a service site, surrounded on three sides by water, and this is going to be the site of Will Olsop's first residential building, and we're calling it Chips. Urban Splash, English Partnerships, New East Manchester, Allsop Architects, Ian Simpson Architects, FAT, Shed KM, Taylor Woodrow, Manchester Methodist Housing Group, and the residents of the Cardroom Estate. They've all contributed to the New Islington story so far. I think it's definitely going to work. I think for the future we need to develop far more sustainable mixed communities. We can't just have rich people living in gated communities and, and less, less uh, wealthy people living elsewhere. We need to all live together and I think this is a fantastic uh, way of working and it's going to be um, something which will be copied elsewhere. I mean I look at the plans and I look at the model and, and then I look out of the window and I think wow this is going to be fantastic. I'm just really pleased to be involved in a small part in that really.